Hello everyone, welcome. Today, I am going to explain what known as the central mystery of quantum mechanics. See, there are lots of weird things which are goes around the quantum mechanics. One of the weirdest thing that you may come across is in the double slit experiment. Imagine the source of light, monochromatic light of single wavelength. As the light hit the screen, on the screen the wave like structure will be there. This is not weirdest as light behaves like wave and the nature shown is wave nature. So far so good. Now instead of light if we consider particle, let's say marble and if we throw the particles through the slits, we will see the pattern of two slits. No problem so far so good. Now let's go into the quantum. An electron is tiny bit of matter. And if we throw it through two slits, we should get pattern like the marbles, two bands. But what? The interference pattern we fired electron, tiny bits of matter through, but we get a pattern like waves, not like little marbles. How? How could pieces of matter create the interference pattern like a wave? It doesn't make sense. But physicists are clever, so they thought maybe those little electrons are bouncing off the edges and forming that pattern. So they decided to throw electrons one at a time. There is no way they can interfere with, with each other. But after an hour of this, the same interference pattern is seen to emerge. The conclusion is inescapable. The single electron leaves as a particle becomes the waves and goes through both slits and interfere with itself and hit the wall. But if we consider mathematically it goes through both the slits or it goes through neither or it goes through just one or it goes through another. All the physicists will get baffled by this. So they decided to observe the electron that is we were spying the electron. If we gently just observe the electron which slit it goes through, so you put a detector just above the upper slit. It will flash a bit whenever it sees an atom or electron goes through that slit. Sure enough, we are throwing atom one at a time. 50% of the time detector will bip and other 50% of the time it will not. Assumption being it has to go through other slit. The result they got is just like marbles, which are passing through two slits. Oh, what? 50% of the time it beeps and you see a spot arrived adjacent to the opposite slit. The other half of the time it doesn't beep and you see a spot at the lower slit. So yeah, it picked out the atom which are going through the upper slit and not the ones which are gone through the lower. Each atom does gone through one slit or the other. But that's the different result. Now what we see, what we have to do is leave a detector there but very quietly go and unplug it. Don't let the electron know you are spying on them. Make them think we are spying. Now throw the electrons, tiny bit of matter, through the slit. And of course let them think we are checking on them. So run the experiment and result is just like wave. Now if you can explain this using common sense and logic, do let me know because there is Nobel Prize waiting for you. Thank you so much.